Good evening, everyone. Welcome. My name is Lou Varela, and I'm the Interim Chief Administrative Officer for the District of Oak Bay. I have the distinct honour of calling tonight's inaugural meeting of Council to order. Um, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Justice Jeffrey Gall for joining us to administer the oath of office and would welcome Justice Gall to administer the oath now to Mayor and Council. Thank you, folks. Um, it's an official occasion, but it can still be reasonably informal. I would suspect with the leave of council, you can all have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> folks, this is not an occasion for judges or lawyers to make speeches, so I'm not going to do that. I just congratulate you all for exercising your democratic right, the community of Oak Bay. I congratulate the candidates who are successful in their positions. I'd also congratulate those who put their names forward and were not successful. It's a sign of a healthy community when you have a number of candidates prepared to come forward to be representatives of their fellow citizens. So I congratulate you for that. I will be administering the oath of office as well as an oath of allegiance for some of the members of council. I'm going to beginning, uh, begin now with uh, Mayor Kevin Murdoch. I guess so. <laughs> and you can stand next to that mic. It's more important to hear you than me. Okay. So there's an oath of office, and then there's an oath of allegiance. Mr. Murdoch, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. I, Kevin Murdoch, do swear that. I, Kevin Murdoch, do swear that. I am qualified to hold the office of mayor for the district of Oak Bay. I am qualified to hold the office of the mayor of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person. I have not by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest. And will not allow any private interest. To influence my conduct in public matters. To influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter. As required by the community charter. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I have in a matter. I have in a matter. And will not participate in the discussion. And will not participate in the discussion. Of the matter. Of the matter. I'll get my eyes back now that I see these little <laughs> white dots. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. Affirmed. You don't have to repeat after this. This solemn affirmation is affirmed before me, Mr. Justice Jeffrey Gall, on this fifth day of November 2008. I'd ask you to sign there, please. And now for the oath of allegiance, Mr. Murdoch, repeat after me, please. Yep. I, Kevin Murdoch. I, Kevin Murdoch. Do promise and swear. Do promise and swear that I will faithfully and bear true allegiance. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. Again, this is sworn before me, Justice Jeffrey Gall, on today's date. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll now call the councillors for Oak Bay, beginning with Mr. Andrew Appleton. The same, this will be the oath of allegiance for Mr. Appleton. You repeat after me, please, sir. I, Andrew Appleton, do affirm that. 
I, Andrew Appleton, do affirm that. I am qualified to hold the office. I am qualified to hold the office. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not, by myself or any other person. I have not, by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest. And will not allow any private interest. To influence my conduct in public matters. To influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter. As required by the community charter. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I have in a matter. I have in a matter. And will not participate in the discussion. And will not participate in the discussion. Of the matter. Of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This oath is sworn before me, Justice Jeffrey Gall, on today's date. And you can sign that here, Mr. Appleton. And with respect to the oath of allegiance, Mr. Appleton, please repeat after me. I, Andrew Appleton. I, Andrew Appleton. Do promise and affirm. Do promise and affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. This is sworn before me on today's date. Mr. Appleton, you can sign here, please. The next counselor is Ms. Hazel Braithwaite. my last time, so I need to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Ms. Braithwaite, repeat after me. This is your oath of office. I, Hazel Braithwaite, do swear that. I, Hazel Braithwaite, do swear that. I am qualified to hold the office. I am qualified to hold the office. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. For which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person. I have not by myself or by any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In, my re in relation to my election to the office. I will, I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters to influence my conduct in public matters as required by the community charter as required by the community charter i will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest i will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest i have in a matter i have in a matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This is affirmed before me, Justice Gall, on November 5th of this year. And you can sign right here, Ms. Braithwaite. Thank you very much. And now the Oath of Allegiance. <laughs> That's for you, not me. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I am. The Oath of Allegiance for Miss Braithwaite. I, Hazel Braithwaite. I, Hazel Braithwaite. Do promise and swear. Do promise and swear. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. This is sworn before me on November 5th of this year by Miss Braithwaite.
Congratulations. Thank you. I'll give <laughs> Rare is the occasion that judges get hugs. <laughs> Except at home. <laughs> the next counselor is Ms. Kareen Green. This is uh, Ms. Green's uh, oath of office. You repeat after me, please. I, Kareen Green, do affirm that. I, Kareen Green, do affirm that. I am qualified to hold the office. I am qualified to hold the office. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person. I have not by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the local government act. Knowingly contravened the local government act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters to influence my conduct in public matters as directed by the community charter as directed by the community charter i will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest as directed by the community charter i will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest i have in a matter i have in a matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This is your oath of office. It's affirmed before me on this, the 5th day of November, 2018. Sign right there, please. Thank you. This is Miss Green's oath of allegiance. Repeat after me, please. I, Kareen Green. I, Kareen Green. Do promise and affirm. Do promise and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. This is solemnly sworn before me on today's date by Miss Green. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next is Ms. Tara Nee. Nay, pardon me. This is Ms. Nay's uh, oath of office. Ms. Nay, please repeat after me. I, Tara Nay, do affirm that. I, Tara Nay, do affirm that. I am qualified to hold the office. I am qualified to hold the office. Of Councillor for the District of Oak Bay. Of, the, of, of Councillor of the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not by myself or I, any other person. I have not by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest. And will not allow any private interest. To influence my conduct in public matters. To influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter. As required by the community charter. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I have in a matter. I have in a matter. And will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not participate in discussion of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This is solemnly affirmed before me on today's date by Miss Nay. Yeah. 
And Miss Nay's oath of allegiance, repeat after me, please. I, Tara Nay. I, Tara Nay. Do promise and affirm. Do promise and affirm. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and her su successors. Solemnly affirmed before me on today's date by Miss Nay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And the next counselor is Ms. Esther Patterson. <laughs> this is Ms. Patterson's oath of office. Repeat after me, please. I, Esther Patterson, do affirm that. I, Esther Patterson, do affirm that. I am qualified to hold the office. I am qualified to hold the office. Of counselor for the District of Oak Bay of Counselor for the District of Oak Bay, to which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person. I have not by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest. And will not allow any private interest. To influence my conduct in public matters. To influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter. As required by the community charter. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I have in a matter. I have in a matter. And will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This is solemnly be sworn before me, solemnly affirmed before me on today, November 5th, 2018, by Ms. Patterson. The next counselor is Mr. Eric Zelka. This is Mr. Zelka's oath of office. Sir, if you repeat after me. I, Eric Wood Zelka, do swear that. I, Eric Wood Zelka, do swear that. I am qualified to hold the office of counselor. I am qualified to hold the office of counselor. For the District of Oak Bay. For the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person. I have not by myself or any other person. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Knowingly contravened the Local Government Act. Respecting vote buying or intimidation. Respecting, respecting vote buying or intimidation. In relation to my election to the office. In relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office. And will not allow any private interest. And will not allow any private interest. To influence my conduct in public matters. To influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter. As required by the community charter. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest. I have in a matter. I have in a matter. And will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not participate in the discussion of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. And will not vote in respect of the matter. This is solemnly affirmed before me on today, November 5th, 2018, by Mr. Zelka. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Mr. Zelka's oath of allegiance. Repeat after me, please. Yes. 
I, Eric Wood Zelka. I, Eric Wood Zelka. Do promise and swear. Do promise and swear. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. This is solemnly affirmed before me, Justice Gall, on November 5th, 2018, by Mr. Zelka. Thank you. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Folks, that's the easy part for me. It's now the hard part for your council. You're fortunate to have people who've stepped forward to act as your representatives. I'm non-political, so I don't get involved in that. But I do say we're blessed to live in a community. I don't live in Oak Bay, but when I say community, I mean the broader community. We're blessed to live in a community where people will step forward and say, I'll be your representative, vote for me. Those who are successful, I congratulate. Those who are not, I still congratulate. And I think we owe a round of applause to them all. So folks, I have a nine-year-old who's waiting to be tubbed, so I, <laughs> I, I have been invited to participate, or at least this, to, uh, to observe the council meeting and participate in the, the uh, reception afterwards. I thank council, the mayor and council, for that invitation, very kind invitation. I hope you won't take it badly that um, I'm, I'm going to take a pass on that. So. <laughs> All right, we get to kick off the official part of the meeting now. This is exciting. Um, so thank you, everybody, for coming out here tonight. Uh, the, this agenda item is the uh, inaugural address by the mayor, which is now me. Um, thank you so much for coming out this evening. It's, uh, it's great to have you all here. I d do want to begin by acknowledging that we're holding this inaugural meeting on the traditional territories of the Coast and Strait Salish peoples specifically the Lekwungen speaking people who are known today as the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nations. And more than that, I want to express my sincere intent to see this council build upon the great work done by previous councils to develop strong, meaningful working relationships with the First Nations partners. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize that Oak Bay Municipality is committed to a respectful workplace and that this chamber is and must remain a place of highest respect for the public, for staff, and of council. Because we're going to have open and vigorous debate uh, here, and it must be held in an environment of safety and respect to which this council, I know, is deeply committed. I want to just thank uh, Mr. Justice Jeffrey Gull. I think he's actually left the building now, but all right, I won't thank him then, I guess, after that. Um, uh, for coming here tonight and swearing in this new council. I also want to just thank the staff. Uh, for those of us who come into this office every day, that transformation of that front hall is is something uh, pretty spectacular. So thank you very much for that work done. It's, uh, it's made it a very special night. Uh, it's, uh, it's sort of an interesting night from a historical point of view. Uh, almost exactly 59 years ago in 1959, uh, my grandfather, George Murdoch, was sitting right here. Um, he was sworn in as Reeve, or uh, at that time, or mayor of Oak Bay. Uh, and his inaugural speech here was actually the first ever held in this chamber. Uh, so this is sort of a, this is a special moment for me uh, from a personal note. I have my, uh, my parents, my mother and father here tonight, uh, my mother-in-law, um, my wife Elizabeth, my two children, Everest and Harper, are here, uh, and many friends. And it's a, uh, it's a very special moment to sort of think back on the, on the era that have passed in the time. So thank you all for coming out here tonight. I also want to thank all the people like uh, Chester Skull uh, who ran in this election uh, and to the voters of Oak Bay who turned out in such large numbers. Um, our democratic process is strengthened uh, by that active participation, both by the candidates uh, but also by the electorate. So thank you so much for that, that turnout. And I'm just going to take a moment to recognize the departing members of this council and thank them for their years of service to our community. Uh, first, Councillor Tom Croft, uh, who can't be here tonight, thank you for your four years of service and for the work you undertook, both for our community but also for the region. 
I also want to thank Councillor Michelle Kirby uh, for her seven years on council. Uh, she was a very strong advocate, she is a very strong advocate for youth and for uh, public transportation, public uh, active transportation and all things healthy community. Uh, so thank you for your time. Uh, and last but certainly not least, I want to thank Mayor Nils Jensen for his 22 years of service on this council, which stands uh, for the record as one of the longest council terms in Oak Bay's history. Uh, at all times, uh, Mayor Jensen conducted himself with dignity and respect for the role of mayor, worked hard to make this community better. Oak Bay has benefited from your years of service and we thank you for it. And now we start a new chapter and we have a new council and we have a new mandate. And I just wanna congratulate all of those sitting around this table. Uh, uh, you deserve to be here. You've earned the trust of the residents of our community, and it is a sacred trust that we hold here. Uh, now we're elected, uh, and we no longer have a subset of constituents. We will, each and every one of us, work to represent all of Oak Bay and all of our decisions. And this council, as well, with a four-year term, uh, has a unique uh, opportunity to accomplish a great deal. It's only the second four-year term in Oak Bay's uh, council history, so we have some time to get things done. And I look at this as how are we gonna get things done? And I, I think we have shared goals, uh, renewed partnerships, hard work, and, and some smarter work. And to that, first, our shared values and goals. There is strong agreement on this council for environmental, social, and fiscal stewardship in all of our decision making. And that's a great foundation for us to share. Second, by developing, or continuing to develop partnerships. This means working closely with First Nations, with provincial and federal governments, with our school boards, UVic, Camosun, Island Health, CRD, South Island Prosperity Project, <laughs> Business Improvement Association, Oak Bay Tourism, uh, all of the volunteer groups, community groups, regional, local, there's a lot. And the only way we're gonna get our work done is by working with our partners in those tasks. Uh, we cannot meet our goals alone. Third, by working with staff to, con to, con to constantly improve Oak Bay in ways large and small to have council establish policy direction and guidelines and then empower our expert staff to interpret and, and implement those guidelines and let them run our community well. And finally, we have to do our job well as council. We have to work hard, we have to listen to our residents, to prepare for meetings, to be transparent in our decision making, to participate fully and with enthusiasm both at this table but also at the regional tables that we'll be serving at. And no matter how passionate our debate we have to remain respectful and friendly with one another and to staff and to the public. Because we live in an amazing community and our job is to maintain the excellent quality of life for future generations and we have a lot of work to do. So a couple of things that I see as our, on our table for work. Uh, number one, the OCP identifies a number of key activities around housing and other land use issues. We have an obligation to legalize and regulate the housing options our community needs and start that process right away. Much of our infrastructure is towards its end of life. So we must fund our municipality in a way that reflects the true costs, committing to finding the lowest cost of ownership on all projects, providing secure funding for our core services and infrastructure. And we must take the long view when making decisions and being careful stewards of our finances. We also need to focus on results and not be afraid to make decisions be held accountable for our decisions, that's democracy. But there's lots of things to deal with, and I can think of a few. One is addressing the future use of Oak Bay Marina and Turkey Head. Two, we have to work closely with our partners in the province uh, to ensure action on deer in 2019. And I know we have to, we have UW, some members of UWSS in the room, and I'm looking forward to that partnership. We have to find potential services on the Oak Bay Lodge site. And we have to consider our larger land use applications in a way that gets the decision more effectively and more consistently. Oak Bay is a special place. And this council, starting now, will work to move it forward while protecting the characteristics that make it so special. We're lucky to have the support of excellent staff and a very engaged and knowledgeable residents. So I just wanna say thank you to all of you for attending here tonight, to all of Oak Bay for giving council this opportunity to serve. I am thrilled to serve with this council and with this staff. 
and we look forward to getting to work on your behalf. And I, uh, with Council's indulgence, I've, I've asked that we set a little new tradition in, in our chambers tonight, and that is just to allow all of members of Council to say a few words, um, because I don't think this is, this is not a mayor show. We are all equals at this table. Uh, and we're so... <laughs> so, uh, if you wish, you don't have to, but I'll invite you to say a few words, and I'll just start on the left here if you, have, uh, if you would like to say something, Councillor Zelka. Mayor Murdoch, Chair, thank you. I very much appreciate the style and the tone you've set for us and those we represent. And from my perspective, it's a breath of fresh air. Thank you. In my few moments, I wish to thank my wife, Monica, my children, Noel and Philip. Public service has a cost, and I recognize that you pay the most of it. And I love you very much. Thank you to my campaign team, led by Bruce and Lynn Fillan. To my incredible supporters, thank you for your belief in me. And of course, thank you to all who voted for any candidate. I need you and all in Oak Bay to please stay engaged. Over the coming term, in addition to fleshing out the policies and aligning our bylaws with the OCP, I'd like us to get on with the humane deer immunocontraceptive process. Efficiently and effectively, I want us to complete whatever steps the province is forcing us through so that we can support the UWSS as a full partner to get on with the ex excellent work that they're doing. Knowing what it did to our community, I never want to be party to a cull again, even though I'm a deer hunter. And I want to say thank you to staff in advance for putting up with my unusual questions. <laughs> I'll do my best to give you a heads up before meetings to avoid surprises. I recognize very much you do not have an easy job, and I love how you make the job look easy. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've said Councillor Zelka before, but I've never said Councillor Patterson. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Murdoch. Congratulations, Mayor Murdoch, and to all of my fellow councillors around the table, those that were elected to serve. I also would like, though, to acknowledge and, and thank all of the candidates who participated in the election. Um, your enthusiasm and wonderful ideas, I think, bode well for the future of this community. And certainly, I want to thank my husband, who put up with all of the campaign materials that migrated from downstairs to upstairs, over tables, and hard to find any space in the, our small living space that didn't have either signs or paper or something on it. But so thank you, Harry. Um, and also thank you, Roger Brown, our financial agent, and James Sultana, my campaign manager, and all of the, the people that uh, worked with me on the campaign, the friends, the neighbors, the volunteers, who had the wisdom to give me good advice, but to balance the advice with healthy doses of humor and laughter to make the, the journey just that much more pleasurable. And most of all, I want to thank Oak Bay residents for electing me to serve on council. As individual members, we have a wide range of knowledge and experience. As a council, we are united in wanting accountable and transparent governance. There are challenges, financial, infrastructure, development, OCP implementation. And Council's role is to establish policy and direction and to rely on the guidance and support of district staff to put words into action. I look forward to the challenges and the opportunities of the next four years. Thank you. Thank name. you, Mayor Murdoch. So it's an honor to represent the people of Oak Bay for a fourth term. Um, doing this work is uh, both humbling and daunting, and for me can only be done with the unwavering support of my loving family and my very special friends. 
you know who you are, you listen, uh, you're honest, and you care. So thank you to each and every one of you. Deep gratitude. Um, this new council brings a wealth of experience, expertise, and unique perspectives. And so I much look forward to working with each of you. Uh, Kevin, or Mayor Murdoch, sorry. Um, you've got us off to an exceptionally good start, and I'm optimistic that you will lead us to do good things for our community. And finally, any council is only as good as the staff support them. And in Oak Bay, we are really fortunate to have a staff team that's highly qualified, productive, committed, and very friendly, and they love to have fun. So thank you for what you do, and I look forward to working with you. Um, over the past few years, we've seen a market failure around housing. It's a complex issue that requires action from all levels of government. And so my focus in this term will be to work with council staff and the community to expand housing options that are aligned with smart growth uh, principles and sensitive to the Oak Bay's unique neighborhood character. So congratulations to my council colleagues. Thank you to the community that put all of us into office, and I look forward to the next four years. Thank you. Councilor Green. Thank you, Mayor Murdoch, and thank you very much for your inclusion and leadership as we begin this new chapter. I'm deeply grateful to my family, friends, and supporters who encouraged me to run again for Oak Bay Council. A very special thank you to my husband, my sister, and a handful of dear friends for your wisdom and guidance as a small but mighty campaign team who did so much to support me. Finally, to the Oak Bay Heritage Commission, a group of wonderful volunteers who reached out and asked me to join them in early 2015. Your kindness and support will never be forgotten. I have always believed that local government is where we can make a real difference to the people we serve. We are closest to the community and therefore more accessible. We have countless opportunities to meet residents at local gatherings, in our villages, and in our neighborhoods, learning what matters to them. It is a distinct privilege to serve Oak Bay as a councillor, and I am particularly pleased to be a part of new leadership that values the significant partnership that is community, staff, and council working together. Oak Bay's dedicated and talented staff, together with committed wow. council colleagues and engaged residents, leave me feeling optimistic and excited about the future. And I will do my very best to make a meaningful and productive contribution to this important work. And finally, thanks to the community of Oak Bay, to all of you for being here tonight, and to the staff for doing such a wonderful job of welcoming all of us. And congratulations to all of my colleagues. Thank you. Councillor Braithwaite. Thank you, Mayor Murdoch. Um, your grandfather and I have something in common. I was born in 1959, so full disclosure. Um, I wanted to uh, thank everyone who came out to vote in the election. To have 53.6% of our residents um, come out and vote, uh, which was the highest turnout in the region, so give yourselves a clap for that. Um, that's something I think that we should all be proud of. Uh, and to me, it shows that the engagement level of our residents is extremely high, and that's a really great thing for our community. As you've heard, running a campaign is never easy, and it's always heartwarming to have so many people come forward with offers of help to put up signs, make contributions, especially that part. Um, door knock, no matter how big or small um, the assistance is, it makes a huge difference, and it's really greatly appreciated, so thank you. And friends and family play such a huge role in the campaign, too, and I'm so, so very fortunate to have some wonderful friends and very close, a very close relationship with my family um, who could not be more supportive. So, Deb and Andy, thank you very much to you. Uh, and, of course, I am absolutely could not have run my campaign without the support of my husband, Rod. Uh, he's always been here uh, right beside me through all six campaigns. Yes, six, count them. Um, I have been in his encouragement, belief in me, sense of humor, organization skills, and patience, which he obviously has a ton because he's been married to me for 33 years. Um, I'm truly blessed to have him in my life. Uh, so big 
big thanks to you, Rod. And of course, our daughter, Lauren, who I believe is watching online from California. So everybody give her a wave. She's, hi, Lauren. Yeah, thank you. She'll be really thrilled with that. Um, to me, the municipal level of government is the most important level of all. We make decisions that truly make a difference. And I know this term is going to be a really busy one. We have a lot to tackle. And I know with Kevin's leadership, we're in really good hands. And we'll make a positive difference for our community. Personally, I'm looking forward to building on, uh, on a more complete housing strategy, tackling our infrastructure needs um, and um, how we can fund them, engaging our citizens through things like town hall meetings, which I'd really love to see us have one in January or February of next year, and figuring out our deer management, to name a few. It's going to be a lot of hard work, not only from council and residents, but also from staff. And we're so fortunate, as you've heard, to have a fabulous team of hardworking staff who truly have the best interests of our community at heart. So a big thank you to them. And lastly, I'd like to express how truly excited I am to work with each and every person around this table. I know we have a really talented group of people um, on our new council, and I'm thrilled to be able to work side by side with them to shape the future of our community. So thank you very much. Councillor Appleton. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Murdoch. <laughs> I'll uh, start with some thank yous. Um, first of all, to you, to the citizens of Oak Bay, for your trust and your faith in me, uh, and for sharing your uh, your your thoughts and your uh, and your experiences with me over the last several months. Um, I also want to thank the dedicated volunteers that helped me out during my campaign. You know who you are. Your support and your uh, what what you put into the campaign was far beyond what I ever could have thought possible. I, you have my sincere thanks and my appreciation. Um, I also want to say thank you to staff uh, for doing so much work to get ready for tonight and to get us ready, especially me, for the new council term. Thank you. Uh, your professionalism and your hard work uh, has been sung uh, to the rafters and as it should be, so thank you very much. Uh, and then first and foremost, uh, to my family, to Jody, Malcolm, and Eric, who are sitting over there, uh, my, biggest, uh, my cheering section and my biggest fans, thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. To the citizens of Oak Bay, um, you have my commitment in this term to advancing environmental sustainability, uh, to open process and dialogue, uh, to working hard to implement our official community plan. And for me personally, you have my personal commitment to openness, accessibility, and just being personally available to you. Um, I'm very excited about the upcoming council term. Uh, I had a conversation with a gentleman on his doorstep a couple of months ago, and while I was talking to him, somebody, one of his neighbors came up for no particular reason other than just to tell him he was a really great neighbor. And they, talk, and they said to each other, we really like being neighbors with each other. And they gave each other a big hug, and I was there for the whole thing. And I was really emotional. I was actually quite taken with it, and I was happy to be there. And it really struck me with how special a community Oak Bay is. So I, I wrote this down because I want to make sure that I say it right, is that I feel a great responsibility to be reflective of what an amazing community we have and what an amazing community we live in. So look forward to going to work with all of you. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone. That was, that was nice. Thank you very much. Um, we just have one order of, uh, of, of official business, and that's just to confirm council appointments that I have circulated electronically. Is there a, a process here in terms of a motion that we're looking for? I'll move receipt second. second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Not opposed. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have communications with the report of the 2018 general election. I assume we're looking for a motion to receive here as well. Move for seat. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All right, call the question. All those in favor? Opposed? Not opposed. And with that, uh, was that move some? adjournment. That's, that's what we're looking for. That second. is, that's it. Moved and seconded. I thought I would let some one of the, the new people actually move and second this just to get a little practice in. But we'll, we'll, we'll break him in the next meeting. Uh, all right, all those in favor? Opposed, not opposed, you are free. So we're going to now a reception. And uh, thank you so much for coming out. <laughs>